All right, y'all. Well, I'm joined now by Mr. Eggleston, the superintendent with the USD 475 Geary County School District. How are you doing today, Dr. E? I'm good. Everything's going well. Uh, we just finished the first quarter of school. Very yeah. excited about that. I know parents have been receiving information about the status of their students as, well, as far as uh, academic achievement, attendance, mm -hmm. things of that nature. So it's, it's been exceptional. Been a great start of the year and just excited about uh, the things the district is accomplishing. Yeah, and you guys just, I, I don't know if you mind uh, telling me about homecoming. Y'all just had homecoming recently too. I was, last time you were on the show, you were telling me it was the upcoming weekend. So how did everything go? Everything was it went fun? well. Uh, we had the homecoming court on the field, acknowledged all of our students. Wonderful. A lot of energy, a lot of alumni returned to the uh, district for the game. So anytime we can showcase the great things that are occurring or happening in the district is an exciting moment. And so uh, just really pleased with the way our students represent us everywhere they go and in, in the events and activities that we uh, host. So uh, it was a great event and I think everyone was just really excited about the activities that occurred all week long during the homecoming week. Awesome. Well, you, you mentioned there just previously the status of students. Do you mind uh, explaining what that means kind of and, and when parents will find out that information? So Friday was the end of our first quarter. Wonderful. And okay. so parents have access to Skyward, which is our system that mm -hmm. we use. So they can go in anytime and see okay. real time uh, information on their students, academics, attendance, behavior, all of that is right there. Oh, uh, right at their available. fingertips. Available, exactly. So as long as they have access to it and we have the uh, most current uh, information on them, uh, they have access and they can stay abreast of what's taking place uh, with their student. Wonderful, that's so great that you guys have that ability and that they can actually see in real time kind of what's going on. And coming up here soon on October 24th, you guys have an event for uh, you know specific families in the district. Do you mind kind of detailing what this event's gonna be about? So we have uh, Love and Logic, which is a curriculum that we will be sharing with parents. And it's really just helping parents get to know their students, yeah. uh, best practices for supporting them, a lot of people have gone through it and we just feel like it's a resource uh, that we want to offer our parents to, uh, again, help them better support their student and understand some of the challenges that young people are actually, uh, I guess you could say, experiencing and how we can better reinforce some of those uh, practices and uh, values and just better ways of managing day-to-day uh, -day activities and engagements with their peers, yeah. their teachers. Uh, so really excited about that. That's going to begin on October the 24th, 530 to 8 o'clock, and it's the first of maybe three to four classes that parents can access, and we will have child care and food will be provided wow. uh, in the evening to make it as easy and user-friendly as possible so that parents can take advantage of it. We want as many parents as possible to attend. We are going to be focusing on kindergarten, uh, first and second grade, and then we will continue to offer classes throughout, but it's open to all of our parents, wow. and we invite all of them to come in and take advantage of it. Is this a, the first time you guys have done this type of event? Actually, Love and Logic and some parenting classes were mm -hmm. offered several years ago. This is the first since I've been back in, Wonderful. since I've been in the district, and so uh, we just, again, think it's a great resource. We've been uh, recruiting instructors. We have individuals who have a strong background in this area and we feel like it's going to be an, an added value to our families and to our school district. And you know, Dr. E, we were talking before the interview that I mean, we're, we're living in tougher times right now, of course. You know, why, why do you think an event like this is so important right now, especially? Well, I think we have to be relevant and, and we also have to uh, be able to address the issues that are currently in front of us. So I give you a case in point. About a month ago, we had a community awareness uh, session and we had the health department and someone from the state department who talked about fentanyl and the challenges uh, that students are dealing with that because more and more young people are experimenting with drugs. We also talked about some of the uh, safety measures parents can take when it comes to uh, knowing what their students are accessing on the internet. So we live in a different day and time and we just have to be aggressive, proactive in order to safeguard our young people from some of these temptation, temptations and vices that exist within society now. 
Uh, and I think the more parents and schools can partner together and be aware of these things, the more we can uh, better help our young people be successful and present a brighter future for them. Yeah, that's the end goal is, you know, they are the next generation. Absolutely. They are the future. So we want to support them, lift them up, and make sure that we're keeping them safe, of course. Absolutely. So we appreciate you so much, Dr. E, and thanks so much for coming on today. Well, thanks again. Well, we always appreciate being able to share everything that's happening in the district. And it's always good to see you and the team. <laughs> Thank you.